once I was in a in a funeral of a student of mine that passed away, and he was uh, from America. And um, and before that he before that we buried him, so my rabbi came to him and spoke to him in Hebrew and he told him Kalman Nachman you need to know Kalman Nachman ben Peretz Herschel you need to know that you're dead it's written that the person when he when he's dead sometimes he doesn't know even that he's dead he doesn't have the merit from heaven to know that he died he can still think that he's alive and he's looking around and he's like he's stuck in a situation he doesn't he can't move so much but uh, it's not like it used to but he doesn't understand he doesn't not understand that he's dead yet it's it's a certain punishment so in Breslev there are many people that used to tell the deceased the person that passed away I'm explaining it to myself not to you that he's dead so my rabbi told him, Kalman Nachman ben Peretz Herschel, you should know now that you're dead. And so after he told him that in, in, in Hebrew, and for me it was a little bit weird, because that person, he didn't know how to speak Hebrew, he wouldn't understand. So I asked him, I asked him, you, you told him that in Hebrew, but he was speaking English, so he told me when he was alive, he was not able to listen through his soul. This is why he couldn't understand the holy language. But now he had to hear like from his memory that he learned English and he speaks English. But now that his ears are not working anymore and he listens from his soul, so he understands the holy language. Now he can hear the holy language. So you don't need to... So when Mashiach will come, he will... He will just open the hearts of the people to understand the holy language. And everyone will understand Hebrew. Everyone will be able to speak Hebrew and to understand Hebrew. And they're going to catch it and it's going to be like clear as the sun. Oh, I got it. It's simple. Today, if it, there are many, many people that are learning Hebrew. And they're thinking to the, like they, 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 they worked many, many years on learning Hebrew. But they're not speaking Hebrew. They know Hebrew, but they're not willing to speak Hebrew. So ask yourself, as a person like that, or try to think, why that person, he doesn't speak Hebrew if he can, if he knows. So it's, it's I don't want to say only, but in most of the cases, it's because of certain gava, certain arrogance of the person that... He may be a very hurt person, like a, a, a person that went through a lot of disgrace and insultings in his life. He doesn't want to be hurt again. He's afraid to use his Hebrew because he doesn't want to make no mistakes. That's why he doesn't speak, because he doesn't want to mistake. He doesn't want other people to see that his Hebrew is not perfect. So he won't speak. But you know how to speak. Obviously, you're going to make mistakes. If I wouldn't try to speak English... If you're gonna try, if you think that now I'm funny, you need to see my first videos. Oh, that was hilarious! A person must use the wisdom that he achieved in life. So now, like we said before, if you have your talents, if you have your abilities, if you have gifts that you received from heaven, and now you're not using them, so you're exactly like a person that is completely poor that doesn't have those talents, that doesn't have those abilities. If you had the power to do certain things, to play, to dance, to sing, to run, to talk, to, 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 to work, to think, to remember, and you're not using those things because you're scared, because you're afraid, because you're too shy, so you, you, you live your life in poverty instead of living life of happiness and satisfaction and doing and making big things in your life. And the worst thing of them all is that all of those talents and gifts that you received from heaven are actually things that Hashem gave you, the Creator gave you, because you're on a mission. Because you have things that you need to do. 
Because that's the purpose of your life, to be who the God made you to be. And if you're not going to let yourself be that one, you're blocking the light of the Creator. It's just a temporary world that in this world, in this period of time, we have a mission. What's the mission? The mission is only not to forget the Creator, to remember that it's all Him, never to fall in the trap of all of those coverings, of all of those husks. husks.